θα μιλήσουμε για Άρη και θα μιλήσουμε για τον μεγάλο άτυχο τη φετινή σεζόν. Αν και αρκετά νωρί, αλλά νομίζω τον κερδίζει. Δυστυχώ δικαίω ο Μοχανάντα Λί τον τίτλο του μεγάλου άτυχου τη φετινή σεζόν. Ο άνθρωπο που είναι δίπλα από την πρώτη στιγμή και ε, με το δανεισμό του αλλά και στον τραυματισμό του είναι ο μάνατζερ του, ο κύριο Κριστιαν Εμίλ, τον οποίο έχουμε μαζί μα και πάμε να τον καλησπέρισουμε. Μίστερ Εμίλ, hello from Θεσσαλονίκη. Hi, how are you, Nico? Okay. okay, okay, very good, very good. Uh, we found you in Austria or somewhere else? Because until yesterday you were with yeah. Mohanad. Yeah, yeah, I'm still in Austria at the moment. Uh, I was saying uh, before we welcome you that uh, Mohanad uh, unfortunately wins the title of the unluckiest uh, player of uh, the team this season because early in the season. Uh, he had this uh, very serious uh, injury and he will come back after seven, eight, eight months. I don't know what the doctors told you because you are in Austria with uh, Mohanad. Uh, well, hopefully this will be earlier than that. Hopefully he will try, he will try and come back earlier than seven, eight months, maybe in six months. We'll see. Six, seven months. Mm -hmm. ε, Μα τον ρωτήσαμε για τι πρώτε εκτιμήσει των γιατρών ε, σχετικά με την επιστροφή του, του Αλή και υπάρχει μια συγκρατημένη ισοδοξία ότι μπορεί και στου 6-7 μήνε να επιστρέψει πίσω ο Ιρακινό. Μίστερ Μίλ Μοχανάτη είναι ένα πολύ young age, 21 years old. How ε, he handles this difficult situation for him because you are on his side from the first moment he got injured. Yeah, look, I mean, he's. 21 years old, but already he went through a lot of, uh, you know, difficult experiences in his life and outside of football, and uh, even to be a come, to become a player like he is now, also he had a lot of obstacles. So, you know, this is another obstacle, but he'll overcome it for sure. He's already in a, you know, fighting spirit, already in a positive mood. So, the the the, the comeback starts from now. Mm -hmm. Ε, τον ρωτήσαμε για το πώ διαχειρίζεται ο Μοχανάτη ε, αυτό το πολύ δύσκολο τραυματισμό σε τόσο νεαρή ηλικία. Ο κ. Σιμίλ μα είπε ότι μπορεί να είναι 21, αλλά έχει περάσει πολλέ δύσκολε ε, καταστάσει και εμπειρίε εκτό ποδοσφαίρου. Ε, αλλά και πολλά εμπόδια τα οποία συνάντησε στην ποδοσφαιρική του καριέρα. Θα το ξεπεράσει. Είναι ήδη σε ένα ε, mood μαχητή, να το πω έτσι. Και το comeback του, του Μοχανάτη, όπω είπε ο εκπρόσωπό του, ξεκινάει, ε, έχει ξεκινήσει ήδη. From the, from the first moment. Ε, You were in contact uh, with uh, the people uh, of Aris. Many of us thought that uh, Mohanad will return to his uh, club, but uh, after the one month in Austria, he will be here again in Thessaloniki. So at the moment, we don't know how long he will stay in Austria because uh, it depends <laughs> how his, uh, his rehabilitation goes here, how the knee is progressing. And then after that, we'll, you know, we'll take a decision if he's going to continue here or in Austria or come back to, to Aris for the treatment. It depends how the doctor sees it here. But uh, uh, the important thing uh, from Aris' side uh, in this situation is that uh, uh, in other conditions, a team would say that, okay, he won't be able to play probably until the end of the season, so we don't want him, but Aris wants to oversee his uh, treatment in the next months and keep him here. Yeah, but he is... Look, at the moment he's still contracted to mm -hmm. Harris, so he's an Harris player, mm -hmm. and he's happy. He's very, been very happy in Harris, to be honest. But I'm just saying it depends on the doctor here in Austria that who's done the surgery, how his knee is developing, and when he can come back with the team, mm -hmm. the, the, the team, the, tra the, the treatment with the team. Okay. Because, you know, he cannot. It's mm -hmm. not easy to fly after doing a knee surgery. So yes, mm -hmm. when the knee is ready, he'll do it. Mm -hmm. so ε, τον ρωτήσαμε για την στάση του Άρη εξ αρχής όλο αυτό το, το ζήτημα και ε, την επιθυμία της ομάδας να φέρει ξανά τον παίχτη εδώ πέρα και να μην επιστρέψει στην, στην ομάδα στην οποία ανήκει στην ουσία ο Αλή, στην Άλλε Ντουχαήλ. Ο κ. Σαμίλη μα είπε ότι δεν ξέρουμε ακόμα πόσο θα μείνει, γιατί η αρχική ενημέρωση ανέφερε για ένα μήνα παρουσία του Αλή στην Αυστρία. Μπορεί να μείνει και λίγο παραπάνω. Μπορεί και λιγότερο ανάλογα με την ε, πρόοδο που θα έχει το γόνατό του ε, ε, αυτή τη στιγμή. Ο Αλή, όπω μα είπε, είναι χαρούμενο στον Άρη. Θέλει να γυρίσει πίσω και να συνεχίσει την αποθεραπεία του εδώ, αλλά όλα εξαρτώνται από το, σε αυτή τη φάση από το διάστημα στο οποίο θα κάτσει στην Αυστρία και μετά θα πάρουμε τις αποφάσεις μας για το πότε θα έρθει ο παίχτης στην ε, Θεσσαλονίκη. Ε, during the talks you had with Aris uh, the previous uh, days, uh, did you talk about maybe a, a renewal of his uh, contract, uh, his loan, of his loan here in, uh, in the team for the next season? 
because I want to say something first um, in terms of Aris, you know, and, and Mohanad. Since the first moment he arrived in Thessaloniki, uh-huh. everybody in Thessaloniki, all the all of Aris fans, the city, everybody has really been welcoming to Mohanad and really supporting him, and that's why he really likes the city and and and, uh, and the club. Also, even inside the club, when when he got the injury, all the players, all the staff. The president, everybody is very supportive of him, and he really appreciates that. And you know, um, I, as I understand, the club, the president, he's he's open and wants to extend his contract and from uh, extend the loan. And the player as well, he's he's happy there. So for us, it will not be any you know uh, issue to to continue there because he's happy at the club. But at the moment, it's difficult to talk about these things because he just did the surgery yesterday. Uh-huh. So we're still just focusing on. You know, the rehabilitation. Mm-hmm. Okay, just a moment to, to translate. Τον ρωτήσαμε για κάποιε κουβέντε που γίνανε ε, το προηγούμενο διάστημα με του ανθρώπου του Άρη για την ανανέωση του δανεισμού του για ακόμα ένα χρόνο, γιατί ήρθε δανεικό που δεν πρόλαβε να παίξει. Ε, Μα είπε ο κ. Σεμίλου ότι την πρώτη στιγμή ε, ο Άρη ε, καλωσόρισε και στήριξε τον ε, Αλή, γιατί ήταν και ένα παιδί 21 χρονών, γερακινό σε ένα πολύ καινούριο περιβάλλον. Ο Αλή αγαπάει την πόλη, αγαπάει και το κλαμπ. Όλοι του στάθηκαν και τον υποστήριξαν την πρώτη στιγμή. Ο δραματή και οι συμπαίκτε του, ο πρόεδρο Όλοι. Ο πρόεδρο έχει τη διάθεση και μα το είπε να επεκτείνει τον δανεισμό του Αλή και την επόμενη σεζόν. Δεν έχουμε εμεί πρόβλημα με αυτό, γιατί και ο Αλή αγαπάει την ομάδα του, αρέσει το περιβάλλον και η Θεσσαλονίκη. Αλλά είναι πολύ νωρί ακόμα για την ώρα. Επικεντρωνόμαστε στον τραυματισμό και στην αποθεραπεία του, του ποδοσφαιριστή. Μίστερ Εμίλ, you are a man of football. Uh, you've watched some of Aris games. Uh, we would like your opinion about uh, the team so far. Uh, the team so far. Look, I've watched. The, I, I've watched ours, and, I, and I, first of all, I think that the the fans of ours really help the team to, you know, they motivate the team. And I think a lot of the play is based on, you know, the fans being behind them. I see that they have a lot of technical players. They like to, you know, to play, to pass the ball around, play nice football. And actually, they they would benefit from somebody like Mohanet. I mean, I know there's Kamara there, who's, who's a very good player, but they really would benefit from somebody like Mimi. Who's a good finisher, and I think they need somebody like that um, to finish all the good build-up that they do. Μα είπε ότι ο Άρης είναι μια ομάδα που έχει οπαδούς οι οποίοι δίνουν κίνητρο στους ποδοσφαιριστές. Είναι μια ομάδα με ποιότητα, με τεχνίτες παίκτε. Με το στυλ παιχνιδιού του Άρη θα ωφελούσε, θα βοηθούσε τον Άρη ένα ποδοσφαιριστή όπω ο Μίμη, που είναι και το παρατσούκλι του, του Αλή. Ένα παίκτη, δηλαδή ένα επιθετικό που είναι καλό στα τελειώματα για να τελειώνει τι ε, φάσει που δημιουργούνται από το build-up τη ε, ομάδα. Ε, I don't know. Ε, To humor just a little, uh, because you're a manager after all. If you have another solution for uh, for the striker, <laughs> because January is coming in two months. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> I will not for the striker. Your, the best solution is to wait for Mimi to come back because you haven't seen him yet. You haven't seen how good he is, and when he comes back, you're going to see a real proper striker. You'll see. And uh, I would like to say also on the, that uh, that um, the the coach of Aris and all the uh, the people of the club were really uh, satisfied with uh, with Mimi. Uh, not only the games, we didn't see him much, but on the training too, uh, he saw that uh, that skill that he has uh, finishing uh, finishing and scoring, yeah. and. He 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 was uh, the um, the opinion that many have in the club that uh, is that Ali was the most classic striker to, uh, in the team before he got injured. Yeah, but this is what I was saying. I mean, this is Mimi. Look, he had you know his history. He had offers from Juventus, Benfica, Manchester City in the past, and the all all of them came for him because it's very rare to find a pure pure striker and a pure finisher like him at that young age so this is the real quality that he has and you know they've seen it in the training the coach as you said i'm sure he's he's, he's recognized the value in that and um, when he comes back they're going to benefit from it We all wish that. Uh, well, uh, well, wish uh, quick recovery for uh, Mohanad and the uh, loan renewal so as to enjoy him next uh, season. Uh, I wish you all the best. Give uh, to Mohanad our wishes for a quick recovery and we are waiting you back in Thessaloniki. 
Thank you, thank you, Nikos, for also the, the, the support of all the, the fans. It means a lot to him and all the club, from the coach, players, staff and president, that they keep supporting him because they have done so until now. Thank you, Mr. Camille. Thank you. Have a good evening. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye from Thessaloniki. Bye.